What's up, y'all? It's your girl Brandy from Stay Snatched, and today we're making chili mac and cheese. I'm gonna show you how to make this using a crock pot. It's so simple, so easy. So I'm gonna start with browning some ground beef. I'm doing this on the stove because browning it on the stove will produce so much more flavor than if you cooked it in the crock pot. You could cook the raw beef in the crock pot in double the time used in this recipe, but I'm gonna use the stove top and I'm adding in my homemade chili seasoning. I'll provide full details in the description box below for what I use for my seasoning. Then I'm adding in one cup of chopped white onions, one half cup of chopped green peppers, and one half cup of chopped red peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a good stir, and I wanna saute these until the veggies are soft and those onions are fragrant. Now I'm adding in three minced garlic cloves, and then I'm gonna give everything a nice good stir. Then I'm gonna remove this from the heat and add it to my crock pot along with 30 ounces of beans. You can use whatever type of beans you like. I have 15 ounces of black beans and 15 ounces of chili beans. And then I'm adding in one cup of beef broth and then 15 ounces of canned fire roasted tomatoes. And this is two cups of elbow macaroni pasta. I'm gonna give everything a nice good stir. And then to slow cook this, you're gonna cook it on low for three to three and a half hours or on high for one to one and a half hours. You just wanna cook it long enough until that pasta is soft. And then I have one cup of shredded Monterey Jack cheese and one cup of cheddar cheese. I'm gonna sprinkle that throughout and put the lid back on there for just another 10 to 15 minutes until the cheese has melted. And look at that greatness, y'all. 